Hey folks, so today we're going to be talking about directed line segments. It had to do with the proportional line segments we saw last time, except instead of working in one dimension, we're going to be working in two. We'll have a line segment between two points, and we want to break it up given a ratio. Let's take a look. Alright, so our aim today is how do we find coordinates in directed line segments? And all a directed line segment is, is it's a line segment specifically from one point to another. So read our first example. Now we can tell that this is a directed line segment. It has a direction because it's going from that first point to the second. It's starting here, it's ending there. That's an important part about directed line segments. Now, it can also help to draw a diagram out. So let's draw a quick diagram. Okay, please ignore the really, really awful curved line there. Now, we're going to do this algebraically first. Our diagram is going to see if we make sense. Now, it's dividing into a ratio of 2 to 3, which means there are going to be two parts here and three parts here. So our line, our, excuse me, our point is going to be somewhere in this area. It's going to be closer to 3 comma 2 because we're starting from point 3 comma 2. And what we're going to do here is we are going to use a bit of algebra and we're going to find first the x and then the y. Here is how we're going to do it. For our x, we're going to say it's x1 plus first part of the ratio over second part of the ratio times x2 minus x1. I promise this formula is much, much, much more horrible looking than it is to actually deal with. So let's use our points. First off, we know that this is our ratio. So this is going to be our R1 and our R2. That's always first, so it's R1. That's always second, so it's R2. Now let's call this, because it's the point we're starting at, we're going from that point, we're going to call this X1 and Y1. It's important here that we call that the first one. Just like it's important that we call this the second. So it's X2 and Y2. Now all we do is just plug it all in. Whenever you look at this, the first point's going to appear twice, the second point's just going to appear once. Now we just simplify it as we go. So let's simplify parentheses first, because why not? PEMDAS makes sense. Let's simplify this so it's going to be 2 over 5. Cool. Let's keep going. Awesome. So x equals 5 makes sense here. Now, that was for our x, let's do it for our y. And we can use a really, really similar formula. Every place there is an x, we just replace it with a y. You'll notice the ratio stays the exact same. That's because we're working with the same directed line segment. Now, let's just simplify everything. Cool. So we've gone and simplified everything that we needed to here. And then we can check our answer last but not least by graphing it here and seeing if it makes sense. So x is equal to 5, so it's 2, 4, 5. And then y is equal to negative 2. Now my graph is a bit off here. If you go by Desmos, it's going to be better. But 5, negative 2 makes sense. 
that's where our graph should be. So that was the way that Delta Math is going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you an alternative way, which you might prefer. Either one is totally right. It just depends on which way you prefer. This one uses proportions, and the formulas are a bit easier to see. Let's take a look. So this is the same problem we just saw. We're just going to do it in a different way, which might make some more sense. We are still have the same ratio. This is still going to be x1, y1, because we're starting there. This is still going to be x2, y2, because we're ending there. And we're just going to plug into this. Now our given ratio here is actually going to be 2 over 3 this time. We're not doing part over whole. We're just doing part compared to part. Let's plug it in and see what we get. Okay, this is what we have so far. I've just plugged everything in. Well, we have a proportion here, and we're just going to cross multiply. Awesome. Next step, we just need to distribute. We need to move the variable over to one side and the constant over to the other. And then we just need to divide. And we got the same point we did last time. It's your choice which method you want to use. Okay, so you've just seen two methods of finding directional line segments and a point on them. Give that delta math a shot. If you have any questions, see me during my office hours. You know how to find me. The link is in the Google Hangouts and one of the posts that I just did. Have a great day, folks. Stay safe, and I'll talk at you soon.